Hey there, SKs, and welcome to your math lesson of the day. This week will be your last week for a unit of measurement, which means that next week we'll be moving on to a brand new topic. But for now, we have some unit review to be doing, so that's what we're going to be doing Monday to Thursday. Let's see what our unit review is asking of us today. Make me a little bit bigger. All right. So we are going to be comparing length and weight today of various objects. We started this last week on Thursday, and we're going to continue it today and tomorrow. So the goal of these review lessons are to get you to be using the words like shorter, longer, taller, lighter, and heavier super naturally. Right? So you're trying to build your math vocabulary. Let's see how we can do that with guided problem number one. All right. So this problem has a picture of a Statue of Liberty and a kitty cat. And they're asking us to compare the height and the weight of the Statue of Liberty with a cat. So let's read the sentence. And there is a blank space we need to fill. The Statue of Liberty is, mm, then the cat. And there's another sentence here. The Statue of Liberty is, mm, then the cat. Now you'll notice under the first blank spot, it says height. And under the second blank spot, it says weight. So you need to fill in these sentences by using in the first sentence, a height word. So you'll say the Statue of Liberty is either shorter or taller or longer than the cat. And in the second sentence, you need to put in a word for the weight vocabulary. So your answer would either be the Statue of Liberty is lighter than the cat or the Statue of Liberty is heavier than the cat. Okay, actually what I'll do, let me write in those answers just so you can see how to write some of those words. All right. So I read the sentence. The Statue of Liberty is mm, than the cat. And they want to know in terms of height. So I'm pretty sure the Statue of Liberty is taller than the cat. And I'm going to use the word taller and not longer because the Statue of Liberty is standing upright. It goes from top to bottom. So I will use the word taller. Tall, oops, taller. There we go. So that's a weird R. Taller than the cat. And for the next sentence, the Statue of Liberty is mm, than the cat. And they want us to answer or target their weight. So I had to think is the Statue of Liberty heavier or lighter than the cat? Those would be my two options. I think the Statue of Liberty is much heavier. So I will write heavier. Heavier, there we go. Okay. So that's an example of how you would fill in your sentences for this lesson. Now, it goes right to activity two. Test your measurement skills by answering the following questions. Now, for this activity, if you feel confident that you can guess or make a smart estimate as to which objects will be heavier, lighter, longer, or shorter, then you can use your brain power to estimate your answers. But also, you could actually take a ruler out and measure these two things, or use your homemade balance scale to measure the weight of these two things. So for example, in number one, they're asking you to use a ruler to compare the length and a, a balance scale to compare the weight of a marker and a paper clip. Now, if you wanted to practice using a ruler, you could measure exactly how long they are and figure out which one is longer. or you could really visualize these two things and make an estimate, a smart guess as to which one is longer, which one is heavier. 
Then you would have to fill in the sentences, just like I did in the problem above. So the first sentence says, the marker is, mm, then the paper clip. And this one is asking you to answer the question about height. So your keywords would be either shorter or longer. The second sentence, the marker is, mm, then the paper clip. But in this one, they're asking you to address the weight. So your options would be, the marker is lighter or the marker is heavier. In number two, it's the same thing. They're asking you to compare the length and the weight of a book and a rock. In number three, you'll have to fill in the circle under the object that isn't only short, but the object that is short and heavy at the same time. So this basketball player is probably heavy, but he's not short. You'll have to find the item that is short and heavy. For number four, look at the pictures of the Play-Doh and the pencil, and you'll have to answer two questions. Which is taller, the pencil or the Play-Doh? And for B, you'll answer which is heavier, the pencil or the Play-Doh? For number five, you're comparing a rock and a pencil. You have to answer two questions for this as well. A, which item is taller? And B, which item is heavier? When you finish activity two, you can move on to your math review. There is a little bit of measurement review here as well. For number one, you will circle the object that is longer and cross out the one that is shorter. Then you have to answer which object is heavier the television or the boy. For number two, circle the group that shows the objects in order from shortest to tallest. So that needs to be an increasing order. And then the second page of your review has nothing to do with measurement. It's just a math review. So this one is about ordinal numbers. For number three, circle the second heart and put an X through the eighth heart. And then questions four and five have a little bit of addition, subtraction, review, word problems. All right, SKs, that's all for me. Time to start your measurement unit review. I'll see you later. Have a great day.